All right, y'all. DR week 13, day one. Let's get it on. Yeah, we got some mistakes here for sure. Uh, let's take a look. It says, a girl in my class named Anna told me about their pogo stick. Hmm, their pogo stick. That doesn't make any sense. It's just one girl and her name's Anna. So I think it should probably be her pogo stick. I mean, that's what jumps out at me first. I have to fix that. It's driving me nuts. So we're going to do that. Her pogo stick, right? Okay. A girl in my class named, what, don't we, what's a proper noun here, right? We need to fix this. Yes, right here. Anna, a girl in my class named Anna told me about her pogo stick. I think that might be it. A girl in my class named Anna told me about her pogo stick. Yeah, that's it. Two corrections there. One, two. Remember, we read, we edit, we write. Correct? Yes, we do. And so, girl in my class named Anna told me about her. Yeah, so we're going to use our editing marks. You see the, the three, li three lines here equals a capital. I want you using your editing marks. All right, so let's take a look. Let's look at the next one. Anna said, if you'd like to... You may jump on it, but don't hurt herself. Oh, boy. Don't hurt herself. She's talking to someone else. What should that be? Yeah, of course. It should be yourself, right? Don't hurt yourself. All right. Now, we are doing a contraction here. You'd, Y-O-U-D. Does that look right to you? What do you need when you, you're contracting you? And would, right? We're bringing these together. and We need something to do that. We need it right here. It's going to be an apostrophe. Anna said, comma, if you'd like to, you may jump on it, but don't hurt yourself, right? Yes, I think we're good now. Again, two mistakes on that one. One, two. Hey, real bonus. Bonus. You know what I'm going to ask, don't you? Where is the tagline? Where's the tagline? Come on, Jackson, you know this. Where's the, where's the tagline? Where is it? Right here. Tagline tells who is saying what. Someone's speaking in the sentence, and who is it? Right? Who, who is it? It's Amanda. And Amanda said, if you'd like to, you may jump on it, but don't hurt yourself. How do we know she said that? Something's being spoken because of what's highlighted in blue, quotation marks, right? Again, you read, edit, write, and I want you writing these out. And I'm going to show you how we're going to submit these. Well, I've already, you've already watched that video, so you know how to submit this. Right? You watch the video, you know that it better be written out or you're not going to get full credit. All right, take a look. Complete the sentence with the word that is the most precise. Right? We're going to be start, start to talk about precise language, which means you, you know people who talk a lot. I talk a lot. Sometimes I need to dial it back when I'm writing. I need to write specifics and precise and precision and leave out words that we don't need. So let's look at complete the sentence with the word that is most precise, right? Precise, I feel like that just means like to the point. To jump without falling, I had to stay on the pogo stick or I had to balance on the pogo stick. Which is it? You could just stay on a pogo stick and I'm going to tell you, it probably isn't going to work out for you. You need to balance. Oh, you need to balance on that pogo stick, don't you? Yes. Balance. To jump without falling, I had to balance on the pogo stick. That's, that's precise. Precisely what you need to do is balance. Underline another word for hopeful. So we want a synonym, right? A synonym for hopeful. I was encouraged when I jumped three times in a row. Hmm. What word in that sentence is the same as hopeful? I was encouraged when I jumped three times in a row. What does it mean to be hopeful? Is there another word in there that means that? I think it's, I was encouraged, right? All right, there you have it. Week 13, day one, DLR in the books. Tadero.